Hello. Uh, this week we are going to do a small project. Um, about a year ago, I started, it was around July, I started working on a, a whittling project of making a chess set. And I worked on that all the way up to about Thanksgiving, I finally got it done. And I didn't post anything on it. It was such a slow project and I'm, I'm just, you know, so early getting started and whittling and everything. And, and it was just such an in-depth project. I really was just kind of working on it hour here, hour there in my spare time. Um, I did, I did have some pictures up on Facebook and Instagram. And if nobody follows on there, then you wouldn't see any of it. So, but at any rate, it's been on display. And here recently, my, uh, granddaughter had, um, fed my dog one of the pieces and he had his way with it so we need to make a new pawn and uh, i'll show you the chess the chess set here in a second so here it is it's all 32 pieces um it's made out of basswood that's what i carve with and the white side of the chess set is finished natural i just oiled the pieces up with mineral oil and then sealed them up with my linseed and beeswax mix that i have and then the black ones um basically just watered down some acrylic paint because i really wanted to be like a stain you can't see it too good the light's not real good in here but you can just catch on the facets some of the wood color coming through and then sealed them or uh, lubed them with some um, mineral oil and sealed them up as well with linseed and beeswax mix that I have. And then the, uh, the board is just a piece of uh, one by 12 pine from the, uh, one of the big box stores. And I just, it's actually like 11 and three quarter. So I just cut it square, laid out my lines on it and the same mix that I use for the pieces, I use for the, the black spaces. And um, once the uh, pieces were painted on, you get a little bit of bleed through the grain. I used a grooving tool and carved in, carved in the lines and put a perimeter on it and then just hand carve the edges so it has facets on it just like the pieces. And then likewise sealed it with a oil and then a beeswax and linseed oil um, sealer. So that's the, that's my little, my little chest set. And here's the, here's the victim right here. Here's one of the pieces. There's a couple little small pieces missing. I could put it back together. That's still an option. I could glue the one piece back on and then put some wood filler in there and color it. But um, here's a little piece of basswood. I'm going to go out to the uh, bandsaw and cut off my slug. I think that's an inch and a quarter and we'll get this guy laid out and, and just try carving a new piece. And uh, the paint color, I'm gonna have to play with that. I don't think it'll be too bad because I mixed up one big batch and painted them all at once. But uh, nonetheless, enough talking. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this thing going. 